Welcome to Game Epoch, the show where I play through the history of video games in the order of their release, starting with Super Mario Brothers on the Nintendo. I'm Mystic Dan, and today I'm playing Metroid, and I'm at the end! This is the finale, and this is where things start to get scary, and you see the eponymous Metroids. The trick to them, I don't know how you would do this if you didn't have the Ice Beam, because according to the lore of the game and the gameplay mechanic of the game- oh. Uh, the Metroids are only- oh my gosh, they're sucking the energy out of me. They are invulnerable to ice, um, to, f to cold attacks. So you have to have the Ice Beam, otherwise you can't hurt these things. Or, I think you can hurt them still, but it's a whole lot harder. Yeah, I mean, it's just much, much, much easier to just- oh my gosh. Awesome, you did it. Thank you, man. <laughs> I figured it out! <laughs> Alright, did I get everything? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Jeez, that sucks. He uses a lot of missiles to do that. Oh, and that is something really stupid about this. Uh, this game, if you're transitioning between rooms and there are enemies, it hurts you! If they go through the doorway. So lame! <laughs> Where is Metroid? There it is. Nope. Oh my gosh, I hate these things. Metroids are terrifying to me even today after all my years of experience with them. Oh gosh, they scare me so bad. Their, their entire concept is just terrifying. They have these pincers that latch onto you, and then they leech your life energy out. I mean, they're just a horrifying creature. They definitely took their cues from Alien when they designed these things. Ah. Eh. So, um... And then these little Cheerios... Or Toastios, if they couldn't get the trademark. <laughs> All right, I am nearly to the final room. Come on, come over. I, I thought that these things were supposed to actually have some drops, but I'm not seeing anything. Alright, so the concept is a bit terrifying, but I think they're adorable. In a way they're adorable, but in a way they're also absolutely horrifying. Like, I totally agree. They're this It's really kind of funny how there's like both of those contradicting things at the same time. Notice I took I tried really hard to not say juxtaposition. Because <laughs> I'm saying that word way too much these days. Come on over. Oh! Got him. Eh, eh. I wonder if I don't even need to kill these things. I'm getting plenty of missiles. Oh! Dang it. How about dichotomy instead? <laughs> ah. Alright, let's see if I do this, because this is actually... Not the easiest boss in the world. This has given me a fair amount of trouble in the past. Oh, I'm still not done. I thought it was done. Give me missus- missus and health. I need both. Ugh. And just FYI, I did buy Dark Souls 2. Um, on Gamer's Gate, which I'm not going to comment on the controversy it's named after right now. Um, oh shoot. Eh. 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 But, uh, on that website, they had a... Oh gosh, no! 
Stop it! <laughs> they, had a, they have a sale right now for Dark Souls 2, which is, uh... Oh my gosh, this sucks. It's like 13 bucks. Oh, man. Thirteen bucks or something instead of the normal forty for the full-on uh, PC version, the Scholars of something. <laughs> I don't know. All right, can I do this? Ah, uh, come on, come on, come on, come on! Oh, this sucks. I hate this part. I remember hating this so much. Oh, come on! In this room, they're just like, we're, we're gonna throw everything we can at you just to make you feel like you are really in big trouble. <laughs> and it worked. Um, uh, sorry if I get quiet, I just want to make sure I don't completely suck at this. Alright, whew! Alright, I made it through that. Well, I'm not done. Dang it. Oh, here we go. Oh! Here we go! That's Mother Brain! Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is why this is hard! <laughs> I'm just constantly getting hurt no matter what I do. Ah, no, I just want to stand over here. Ah. Oh my gosh, ah, this is so nuts. Ah. Oh, come on. Oh, I'm losing so much health right now. This is bad. Oh, I should not be losing this much health. No, stop. All right, all right. Come on. No, I'm almost dead. No. Dang it, no! Oh. And there goes all that health. That sucks. Let me take a picture of this, just to have it. Crap! That's bad, actually. Very, very bad, because now I've only got 30 health. And there's no easy way to get health now. And I've lost all those missiles, too. Oh, this sucks. And those stupid... Circle things don't give you anything. Like, I thought they did. Maybe it's just in Super Metroid that they do, but I swore that they did in this game. I don't know. My knowledge of the original Metroid is not as good as for the later games. Oh, that's such a bummer. Well, at least these uh, Metroids are giving me some pretty good drops, actually. Oh, and that door's open now, so that's nice. Get away from it. I hate these stupid... Oh, stop that. Eh, eh, eh. And where's the Metroid? Where is the Metroid? Oh. I gotta be immediately switching back to my Ice Beam just in case. So after I finish Kingdom Hearts, which is going to be a little while, I mean, it's not a short game. Um, and I'm doing 100% because that's just what I want to do, because that's what I always do. So it's going to be a while before I'm done with it. But I will play Dark Souls 2 immediately afterwards. That is my guarantee to everybody watching. My Dark Souls playthrough was actually more popular than any of my other games I've played since I started, except Mario, uh, Super Mario Brothers, 
Which started off great, and then everyone stopped watching. <laughs> I don't know what happened, but... Ugh. And shoot, 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 shoot. Ouch. I need more health, I need more health. Come on. Alright, so, and get you over there. No. No! I really wish these stupid donuts. Oh, okay, well I'll just fall through. Dark Souls 2 is a bit of a different monster than any of the other Soulsborne's games. Well, I hear it's, uh... Well, I mean, I understand one reason why it would be different is because uh, Hidetaka Miyazaki is not nearly as involved and was not the chief designer and director. He was just kind of uh, acting in a somewhat distant supervisory role, which is uh, definitely safe to assume that it's going to suffer a dip in quality as a result, just because... I really do believe that he is the key to what makes a great Bo uh, Soulsborne game. Probably, I mean... He, I think, you know, all of his major designs and all of his ideas were what really made it so special and unique and... You know, good. They went a bit of a different direction with some of the stats, the bosses, and the aesthetics and level designs, but it returns to form in the DLCs. Oh, really? Interesting. Oh, all well, these things are gone now. That's nice. Still, I should go back out and kill some Metroids and try to get some more drops. Please come back. Please say they come back. Oh, good. I think there was a director swap midway through or some sort of development hell of some kind. From what I understand, he was just never involved. Uh, well, at least not as a director. He was immediately, it sounds like, working on Bloodborne as soon as Dark Souls was over. In fact, Chester, what's his name, in um, Lucille in the past, in the DLC, I mean, the fact that he looks like a Bloodborne Hunter, I, I'm convinced that that's a pretty good sign that he had already been uh, hard at work designing Bloodborne at the time, especially including the, the sweeping kick attack that he had that they didn't have in Dark Souls or Demons. It was Yui Tanimura that was in charge for a good bit of Dark Souls 2. And I'm not going to say that they did do a good job. I mean, I'm going to reserve my judgment of the game until I, you know, actually really played it, which I have not. Yeah, this was a good idea. Look at me, I'm going to have full stuff. And I should be able to get through this a lot easier now. That I don't have to barrel through all those things. Oh, no, no, dang it. Can get some more guys. Good. Ooh. This is so terrifying to get confronted by Metroids. The solid green ones are definitely more aggressive, I'm seeing. I think I just need some more missiles. Just to make sure I'm not short. And these like lighter ones, like the yellowish kind, are definitely less aggressive. No! I thought I changed it! No! Thought I changed it again. Dang it! You say, I initially hated Dark Souls 2, but out of the other games, Dark Souls 2 is at an 8.5 to 10 for me, while Dark Souls is 8.5 for 10, and Dark Souls 2 is a 9. Interesting. I mean, I can understand why p some people with certain tastes absolutely fell head over heels in love with Dark Souls 1. I mean, I do understand that. I don't feel exactly the same way, but I do like it a lot and feel uh, think highly of it and am glad that I played it and look forward to playing others in the series. But I like more of what it introduced as potential for an excellent game, um, personally. 
as far as my tastes go. Whether they meet that in Dark Souls 2 or Bloodborne or Dark Souls 3, I don't know. And I'll just see what happens. And maybe one of those games will be among my favorite games. We'll see. I mean, that, that, that format definitely has the potential to be really high up there for me. And I do love the worlds and the stories uh, and the lore and all that stuff. I do think that those are quite amazing. And the way that they're told, too, is just so cool. Alright, how many missiles can I hold? I don't even know. Alright, well... Whoa, no! Whew. That was lucky. Ah. I just gotta switch out of that immediately. I'm just gonna call this good. Dark Souls 3 is basically a love letter to Dark Souls 1 fans while still retaining the defining characteristics of 2 and takes some cues from Bloodborne. Yep, that's what I understand. Which makes me, you know... Possibly really excited to play it. I think I am, generally speaking. Um, you know, I don't really think I'm, I'm gonna be disappointed or anything. I'm just, you know, really holding off on making any judgment calls until I've, first of all, played the others. Oh, come on! That's not what I wanted! Oh, how did that even happen? Eh. I did not want to get stuck over here. Okay. Oh, I hate these stupid... The problem with these donuts the most is that they just... They send you flying. Ow! Oh, gosh. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, oh, I've got this, guys. This is gonna be the finale, and it's not even gonna go very long. This is awesome! I'm stoked! Kill that brain! Brain of- oh, dang it. <laughs> Ow. Okay. How many missiles does it take? Seriously, how many? Ow, ow, ow. I think I'm hesitant to play Dark Souls 2 just because I've heard enough from enough people to not have my hopes very high for it. Oh, I think I got him. Or her. I think I got her. I did it! I beat the game. Time bomb set. Get out fast. Now we gotta get out of here. Oops. Much harder if you accidentally start twirling. This, I believe, was fairly unprecedented, unprecedented in video games. Every other game to this point had you basically just finish the final boss and then it was over. But this had the, the guts to push you even further and go, Oh, you th thought it was over? Nope. Now you gotta get out or it's you're done. You're dead. You gotta do that all over again. Now, unfortunately, it's not terribly difficult, but still! What a cool ending! If only they had more effects to make it seem like everything was really dying. But I did it! I beat Metroid! That's the end! Great! You fulfilled your mission. It will revive peace in space. But it may be invaded by the other Metroid. Pray for a true peace in space. Somewhat awkwardly translated. Oh, did I get something? I got something! She's still wearing her armor, but she's got long hair, and you're like, oh my gosh, that's a girl! Samus is a girl! That's cool. That is so cool, I did it! Praise the sun! <laughs> oh, that's great. Hip Tanaka. He's the bomb. Seriously, so cool. Yeah, I did it! I beat Metroid! Woohoo! That was the big reveal of Metroid, and one of the big twists in all of gaming history. Samus is a woman. And what are you gonna do about it? You just beat this whole game playing as a girl. Are you pissed? I hope not, because if you are, you're shallow and stupid. 
I don't really have any hesitation saying that. Because, seriously, I just don't understand sexism. I really don't. Directed by Yamamoto, Chief Director Satoru Kata, produced by Gunpei Yokui, 1986. So yeah, that was Metroid, everybody. Really difficult, confusing, tough game. Um, but quite the ending. Mother Brain's a great boss, and they set it up to be very fair, I think. You get down there, all the missile doors are still open, those stupid little obnoxious columns are still open, and you can just farm the Metroids for health and missiles. It's not a big deal. I'd be like saying Lara Croft isn't a good protagonist because she's unladylike. <laughs> yeah. The end. Oh, it starts you over again, just like all these other games do. I'm guessing it starts me with nothing. Oh, no, I start off with everything. Oh, I start off with some things. Uh, I got my ice beam, and my high jump, and my long beam, and my screw attack, but I don't have E-tanks and missile tanks. So that would make the beginning of this game a whole lot easier. Do I have a morph ball? Yes, I do. And I got bombs? Yes, I do. I just don't have any missiles and stuff. Well, that's fun. Cool. Well, I'll go ahead and die and just get a password, just so that I have this password, just for the fun of it. Because why not? Why not come back and play this another time? For fun. <sighs> That's not what I wanted. Can I get anything over here, or is there nothing? So yeah, thank you for joining me in this journey of Metroid. Uh, this game is definitely among my least favorite in the uh, Metroid series. But I appreciate it a lot. I mean, this game really helped with uh, bringing you know, a lot of uh, influence in all of gaming. So, its un importance cannot be understated. Um, it was not super great well received in Japan, it was okay. It was better received here in America. Um, and the sequel was kind of similar, it was a little bit even more of a sleeper hit, I think. But Super Metroid rocked the world. Um, and its reverberations can be felt everywhere. I mean, if you've played any indie games in, the modern, in modern history, you'll know what I'm talking about. So many of those are all taking their cues from Metroid. And, you know, some would say Castlevania as well, because they have a leveling system and a lot more customization with weapons and armor and items and spells and stuff like that. But Metroid is where the real gold is when it comes to the design of the world, the layouts, and the general natural feeling of advancement with gaining permanent upgrades, which I think are superior than leveling up, personally. That and also being able to gain skills by just playing the game, becoming familiar with the controls and the mechanics, the physics, and the enemies. Learning where they are and how they move and how to best ta tackle them. I think that those are better designs than a leveling up system. I've always liked the level up system and been more f comfortable with those in the past, but anyway. So that's it for Metroid. My next game is going to be Outrun, which was originally released in the arcades. Uh, a month after this game came out in Japan. But I'm going to be playing the Genesis version, because that's a whole lot easier for me to do. Um, I'm not quite ready to play that yet, so for now, I'm going to go ahead and uh, stop this for now, and we'll see you guys in the next episode of Game Apoc. Thanks for checking this out. I will see you in the next one. This is Mystic Dan signing out. Bye.